Clocks. They help organize our lives and keep us all on time. Every clock has a mechanism that keeps a steady beat, like a pendulum or quartz crystal. Because humans make these objects, no two are exactly alike. The ticks they produce will always be a little bit off. So how exactly do clocks all around the world keep the same time? Enter the atom. Atoms are made by the universe, not by humans. They have no imperfections. Atoms of the same type are identical everywhere. They are nature's best timekeepers. To understand how this works, let's look inside the atom. Every atom has a nucleus surrounded by one or more particles called electrons. We can use light to turn these simple parts into an atomic clock that keeps almost perfect time. Light travels through space in the form of waves that rise and fall at a regular rate. The number of times a wave rises and falls in one second is called its frequency. When a light wave hits an atom, the atom can absorb some of the light's energy, causing one of its electrons to jump to a higher energy level. But the electron will jump only if the light's frequency is close to a special number known as the atom's resonant frequency. Like a glass shattering when an opera singer hits just the right pitch. The glass's resonant frequency. To make an atomic clock, we bathe the cloud of identical atoms in light and tune the light toward the atom's resonant frequency. By counting the peaks and valleys of these fine-tuned light waves, we can make astoundingly precise measurements of time. Cesium, the atom we use to define the official second, has a resonant frequency of exactly 9,192,631,770 wave cycles per second. One second then equals the time it takes for that many peaks of light waves tuned to the cesium resonant frequency to be counted. This definition gives people around the world a single, highly accurate way to measure time. <laughs>